Hello everyone, this is Finish Chuck here, back with some more, uh, let's play, uh, Dustin Elysian Tale. I, I have no idea what I was gonna say, but it probably wasn't Dustin Elysian Tale, so it's good I corrected myself. Anyway, in the last episode, we, uh, arrived here, uh, to Aurora Village, we're currently under the floorboards, I don't know, because there's a save point here, and it's very beautiful, and, uh, yeah, I also got my ass handed to me by uh, a couple of uh, big, big bozos with, I think they had, no, no, I think they were barehanded. I don't know, but they were like giant monster things and uh, they killed me, but uh, thankfully I had a revival stone and uh, uh, I lost it, which is not actually a good thing. But, uh, it's okay, it's okay, I'm gonna be more careful from now on, and I should remember that the touchpad is the, uh, 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 the thing, the, the, uh, 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 the touchpad is the, uh, uh, equipment menu, and the options button, or the pause button, whatever this thing on the fucking PS5 controller is called, is the, uh, something button. The pause menu. Anyway, yes, uh, I'm gonna heal myself because, again, I took quite a beating from those, uh, 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 big giant things, and also, uh, 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 I, I, I have a lot more HP now, so, uh, I, 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 as you, as you probably saw there, I equipped the chicken because it heals more than the fruit. Anyway, uh, let's backtrack a bit. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I don't, I think there's just Ginger here. We talked to her in the last episode. He's very, she's very interesting. Uh, I feel like I was saying something about her, like uh, in the last episode, and I, I kind of uh, inter, uh, my thoughts got kind of interrupted. Maybe it was about her voice actor, Amber Lee Connors. I think I mentioned that last time, and uh, I haven't really heard her that much. Uh, outside of this game, but I did hear her pretty recently in, uh, um, uh, Master Detective Archives Rain Code, where she plays, uh, uh, stop notifying me, <laughs> fidget, uh, yeah, uh, in uh, Rain Code, uh, she plays, uh, not Kurumi, uh, fucking, uh, what's her face, uh, uh, Halara, yes, and, uh, uh, I, I said this in the last episode as well, but, uh, Dust here, uh, plays the main character of that game, Yuma. Anyway, let's talk to this child here and see what she has, uh, what kind of questing she has in store for us. Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. Oh boy. Oh boy. If if you remember in the last episode, Out to Dry, Colleen is looking for her missing brother Corbin. She claims that Gianni in Aurora Village may know his whereabouts. Yeah. Uh, uh, the fucking... Actually, I should go here to the shop. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, Gianni! Gianni was the character we talked to last time, and he was kind of a dick. So, I'm sure... I'm sure he'll have- we'll have another very pleasant conversation with him. Anyway. Ah, our famed savior. I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. Oh, thank you. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, there are more merchants than just the, uh, <clears throat> weird hooded guy who is totally not suspicious at all. Uh, I kind of want to save up for another one of these. Though I also want to- I think I'll buy one of these because we don't have any. I would like one of these because I lost my only one. I also would like these, but we can, I think we can just find those wherever we go. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, buy those because 
Uh, they cost quite a lot, and I'd like to save up for healing items. I think I'll buy one, one of these cupcakes. And thank you for coming in. I can almost guarantee your satisfaction. Almost. Oh, oh God, oh yeah, I'm very satisfied. I, I'm so satisfied that the whole world exploded. I keep pressing the wrong, wrong menu. Where is my? Okay. Uh, I think we're gonna go with attack this time. Or hmm, actually. Defense might be more, uh, useful, because, you know, we're playing on tough. Whatever. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the biggest glass cannon of all time. Uh, also, that guy, uh, the voice actor for the merchant, it sounded like he was recording in a very, a room with very weird acoustics, but it, it kinda, kinda fits since he's inside the shop, so it kinda... Uh, it's kind of, kind of like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was intentional, and I don't know. I, I don't know anything about the fucking recording uh, situation of this game, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, hello, Ginger. Uh, uh, we're gonna go talk to Gianni. There's actually one more person I think that we need to talk to who has a quest for us, uh, but uh, we're gonna talk to Gianni first and uh, fucking. Uh, extort some information out of him. Hello. Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. Yeah, with my sword. In fact, it can even talk, so you can't actually have a chat with him. Anyway, uh, he's. Uh, in case it wasn't obvious from the. Uh, Last episode, uh, he's a he's a, he's an asshole, and uh, uh, he should not be uh, trusted with children. Yes. Okay. Let us move onward. Actually, let's try if I could go any faster with the dodging. Oh, oh, it's okay. I'm gonna keep pressing the R R two button. Anyways, even though the game's like, nah, don't do that. You don't have any energy left. Okay. Let's go talk to the... I think he's the last NPC in the village. Uh, actually, I think we need to talk to him. He's, he might be part of the main quest. Hello? Good day. I'm Mayor Bram. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. Well, she can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. 
Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'd be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dusk? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. I'm proud of you, Dust. Of course, if you said no, I'd need to bite your face off. Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. All right, Mayor Bram, you've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy! The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village, so I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful. And I'll be back. Thank you. Okay, so I think in the last episode we did talk a little bit about the... Or some someone, I, I think it was either the Watchmen or the old couple outside the village who were talking about uh, uh, how the monsters or the monster attacks have gotten worse as of late. And uh, as the mayor was saying, they probably have some kind of leader who is uh, uh, controlling their attacks and uh, coordinating them a little better. Oh, oh, there is one more NPC in here. Hello, fail. Hey, you're the outsider. Yeah, that's me. That's great! So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, so their poor equipment is pretty much your fault. <laughs> in so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp hides, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. All right, the classic. Uh, 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 bring me five billion hoodly doodlies. Uh, I don't think I have those. Uh, where can I see my materials? Here? Maybe? I don't... I think I should be able to see them somewhere. And I'm just fucking stupid. You'd think they'd be here. But, uh, I don't see them. Uh, oh! Pff, they have a, their own tab. Uh, cotton, paper... Do I have any of these? Oh, I do. I have zero. Zero imp hides. I mean, I could go and buy them off the shop. But, you know what? Let's just go. Let's see if we can find them from somewhere else. Okay, here's the Archer's Pass. That's where the blacksmith is. Uh, the Sanctuary, the Glade, which uh, we were in earlier. Uh, Abadis Forest. This is where we need to go. Uh, and also, I think uh, there's uh, the uh, village that uh, the one guy wanted us to go to is also on the other side of uh, Abadie's Forest. Uh, Ivydale Glen. Uh, I think we'll go to Ivydale G Glen first because uh, I want to save the... Uh, we gotta save the uh, kid. Oh no. Boom. Oh my. You really should have saved first. Bloms. Deadly creatures. Keep your distance. They will detonate if you get too close, but are vulnerable when taking a deep breath. Perfect for a ranged attack. Let me at them. Yeah. Okay. So we got we got fucking uh, bombs, fucking enemies that explode. 
on contact, and I will kill them, and they will also kill each other, apparently. Oh, fuck. Oh! Okay. That was, uh, not a smart move, but it's okay. Come on, bro. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. I'm also dying, which is not very good. Oh, oh, they do heal. I, I was thinking, like, does the fucking save points heal you on tough? Because, uh, um, uh, uh, in, in the, uh, uh, somewhere, I don't actually remember where anymore, but, uh, it did say somewhere that, uh, the enemy enemies, uh, the save points heal you on certain difficulties, so I was like, does, do they heal you on tough? Uh, but they do, which is very cool. Okay, this is a very good, very big area. So, that's neat. Uh, I'll eat the cupcake. I'll, uh, I'll also eat the chicken so that I'll have full health. Oh boy. Come on, bro skis. Time to get exploded. Get that explosion. Get, get your explosion up. Oh boy. Okay. I think, I think these are like the only enemies in here, which is... Good? Question mark? So, yeah, uh, oh, oh fuck, ah, damn it, okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine. We didn't, we just, just exploded a little bit. Uh, I don't know how to get this burning off. There we go, okay. Uh, let's heal again, because I'm running out of, uh, chicken. I think I'll equip the cupcakes, because they... Uh, they, I can at least buy them. I can't go here. Damn it. I could really use those keys. But whatever. It's okay. It's fine. Okay, there's treasure here too. I think the boy should be around here somewhere. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh god. There's two of them again. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. And now, let's get some fucking storm in here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Okay. Very cool. There we go. Okay. We didn't get killed. So that's good. Hey, are you here to help me? Please tell me you're here to help me. Let me guess. You're Corbin? You know your sister's been looking everywhere for you. I had to hide in here with all those monsters around. Well, they're all gone, so you should be safe now. Are you hurt? Do you need help getting back home? I'm okay, I think. I know how to get home by myself. I come here lots, but there were never any monsters. You'd better go while it's clear out there. I still need to get Mr. Johnny's laundry. I dropped it down there, and I don't want to get in trouble. No, Corbin. You go home. I'll take care of it. Oh, wow, thanks. Here, take this. You'll need it if you go down there. A white resonance gem. That should come in handy. Thank you. Now, go on. Hurry back to town. Seriously? We're going after that jerk's laundry? We're going on a laundry quest? I wouldn't want Gianni blaming that poor kid for what's happened. Come on, we'll kill some monsters on the way. It'll be great. Awesome. So we got the white resonance gem. I think it's something that does things. I'm not sure what. I think it opens doors of some kind. Yeah. Gem gates of the same color. Hell yeah. Uh, I, I don't actually remember how you get them. Like, you get this one from a quest. But I think, I think the, most of the other ones you find by exploring, I think, maybe? Mayhaps? Hello, new enemies. Well, here's where Corbin drops the basket. Might as well return it for him. Do mine eyes deceive me? Or did he accidentally drop it near a poison ivy bush? Fidget, what's going on in that twisted little brain of yours? Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying. Wouldn't it be a shame if some poison ivy fell into his basket? You know, completely by accident. Or, you know, not. You are positively evil, Fidget. But... Yes, with this poison ivy, I will rate retribution on Gianni's wicked So Yes, uh, you can choose... You can either be goody fucking two shoes or vengeance. Good, good. This will show that meanie not to push poor little kids around. You said it. But remember, if we get caught, I'm going to blame you. 
fine, whatever. With pleasure. That meanie, he's just lucky I don't foreclose on his face. What? You know, it's like he didn't pay the mortgage on his face. Then I bite it off. For clothes. Okay, never mind. Okay, thank you, Pigeon. Hello! Okay, let's take care of these, uh, uh, squid tentacle jellyfish people. And, uh, let's go give, uh, uh fucking what's his face his, uh, his, uh, laundry. That will definitely not, uh, give him any sort of trouble, so to speak. Anyway. I'm gonna kill this fucking, uh, person. Yeah, baby. Okay. There we go. We got a thing. Why is there no music? It's very, very haunting. I don't think there's anything else in here, but I'm gonna check any- Oh, right! There's a save point. That's pretty important. Let's save again. There's no music in this place, which makes me sad because I, I kind of wanted there to be music. I'm gonna be honest. But it's it's fine. We're gonna go. Oh right, there's this. Uh, no. Okay, I guess I need to climb all the way back because game bad again. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's my only form of humor. I can only blame the game for all everything that I don't consider and all that good stuff. Anyway, more mysterious wall chicken. Hell yeah. Okay, this. Yeah. I had a feeling this would be one of the- Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, I had a feeling this would be one of the, uh, gem gates. I really wish this game had inns of some kind, because I don't really want to waste all of my healing items. Because I keep getting hit by these fucking people. Come on, bro. Okay, there we go. I was waiting for you to blow up. Okay. I can see nothing more, so let us move on. Oh boy, okay. Boom. There we go. Better not be five more ahead of me. Okay. It's okay, it's fine. Yeah. Come on. Open your eyes and ears and mouth. Come on, bro. Okay, there we go. Uh, these enemies are really annoying. Oh boy. Okay, thank God. Can break these walls and get our chicken. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, any more things? Hello? Any more? Like a fucking route to the keys that I saw? No? Okay. We have to go from the narrow passage with the things, and it's gonna be very, very, uh, not cool because, uh, I don't have it yet. And I can't get any keys, damn it! Anyway, uh, let's go to... Let's go back to Aurora Village, maybe. Actually, let's not go back to Aurora, Sp Aurora Village. Fuck Aurora Village! Let's go to Archer's Pass instead! And, uh, got some pretty, uh, pretty cool music in here. Uh, welcome to Archer's Pass. Uh, this is, like, my favorite track in the whole game, and, uh... Uh, this isn't actually the theme, even the theme of Archer's Pass. This is like the theme of uh, Abadie's Forest because it plays there as well. So uh, we're gonna hear it again later. Okay. Uh, is this uh, okay? We need blue resonance gem for this one, which is uh, not the most ideal thing, but whatever. Uh, let's kill the fucking monsters with the dust storm. And, uh, there we go. We did it. Do you hear something flapping? What? Uh, that isn't you? Hey, I don't make that much noise. Wait, you're right. Look out! We've got company! Oh boy, we got, we got flying people! Yeah! Fucking get thrown into, uh, uh, somewhere. Into, uh, d d not... I keep... Damnation! Yes! Ne fuck. <laughs> it looks like I'm the only one who's getting damnation tonight. Anyway, let's take care of these uh, monsters as we always do. Hello, I'm behind you now. And I uh, made a quick work of your uh, existence. Hello. Okay, let's put some... Uh, 
stuff. Uh, okay. This bomb is here for nothing, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh, come here, you big old lug of bomb. Hell yeah. Okay. It killed the other one too, which is very cool. No? Dust? I want those fucking things. Hell yeah, baby. Okay. The one thing, another cool thing about the, uh, 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 the, 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 uh, floaty combat, I guess, is that you can use the, uh, 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 the, uh, the, 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 the hits or the, like, like the attack button as a sort of an extra jump if you need it, because, uh, it will give you, oh, fuck. Did I lose the, oh, oh, they respawned, okay. Uh, but yeah, you can use the, uh, 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 fucking, uh, uh, things, the things, uh, yeah, baby, okay, uh, you can use the, uh, attack button as a bit of an, uh, oh, oh, I already got a trophy, or not already, but I got a trophy, uh, but yeah, you can use the, uh, attack as a bit of a second jump because they give you a little bit of extra air time when you, uh, 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 like, uh, keep hitting things, or get, when you hit the hit the attack button. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. My words are working. My vocal cords are definitely working, and everything else. Okay. Maybe I should go. Should have actually gone back to the village to stock up on some healing items. But whatever. Uh, I'm sure we'll maybe hopefully manage. Hopefully there are some walls that I can harvest for chickens. Anyway, actually, before we end off the episode, let's get some defense so that we won't die in one hit uh but yeah uh i'm finished at this being let's play dust and elysian tale and in the next episode we're gonna continue our adventures on the art or in not on in the archer's pass and uh uh the rain stop which is or it didn't i thought it did maybe it's gonna stop i don't know but yeah we're gonna continue our adventures here in archer's pass and uh take care of any enemy that gets in our way because we are the dust, an Elysian tale. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys then.